Hi Jemima. Hi Trini. Today, after many requests, it's handbag time. How exciting. <laughs> and I know you've got lots of brilliant questions, but I just wanted to do a bit like sort of SOS of handbags. I give as much love to a Zara bag as I give to an expensive bag. So how do you store them? Well, I've got two things. I bought something from Habitat, which is like this, but it's over there. I'll show you in the next bag station. I have some really lovely bags that I've invested in here, and I don't keep them in the direct light, and I do dust them down once a week or so. But I like them out because then when I'm wanting to wear an outfit, you know how often we've done a class confession and I've gone, which bag? And then I look here and I get inspiration. If they were all neatly put away in bag boxes and everything, I wouldn't see them. And you know the best example of that is this. Because lots of you said, Trini, what about wearing it with a yellow Chanel bag? It's been in a box at the top of a cupboard. I forgot I had it. I know that sounds mad. There it is. It's the kind of bag which I can just about do a high over my shoulder. It is fabric and fabric is the easiest texture to get dirty. So no makeup fingers, no fingers with muck on, no children with Nutella. Um, so it's it's got to be special occasions only, but it's fabulous. This is the most Trini bag. <laughs> this is like, a, if, if a bag could be me, it would be this. Buying a designer bag is obviously an investment. What is the first bag you saved up for and bought with your own money? Come with me. Which I haven't worn for years. Lila now wants to wear it. And this bag is from Prada, but the concept of doing rivets was their season and they did it then. And generally when I have bags from Prada and they have a little kind of luggage tag in them, I always put the picture of Lila because I then know how old the bag is, but this is before Lila was born. I loved it and I wore it so much. This is the only bag I have now that's sort of um, shoulder bag. I don't really like shoulder bags anymore. And I haven't worn it because suddenly Topshop copied this bag. And so everyone had these rivet bags. I didn't like the fact I was wearing a bag that suddenly everyone was wearing, I think. I quite like bags to feel individual. Lila actually has started coveting it. We need to talk about Lila's stealing pattern of my handbag soon. What bag do you grab out of any of your bags when you want to spice up an outfit? Such an open-ended question because it would generally be that it's an accessory as opposed to a kind of stuff everything in kind of bag. And then I could go many different directions. One direction I love is this bag from Zara because this bag went with all my different outfits and I wore it crossbody. So having a multicolored bag is great because then you'll always have a bag. And I put it behind here because these are bags I don't wear often. You know, I've got oddballs here. I've got my grandfather's sporran. Oh, I love so, that. I've used this when I've gone for sort of very smart country weekends. I had my stack in here and my glasses when I was making ever went in. Bags have very good memories. What other bags with memories do you have? Is there an heirloom bag that was passed down to you that oh, you love? Oh, my God. My mother, she wasn't really into fabulous bags, but my father used to occasionally give her beautiful bags. This bag, which is a really old Amos. Wow. But like many, many, many years old. And then over here, which I was looking at and thinking I need to polish up. It's okay it's there, but I felt it should have more love because it's an old Hermes one and my mother got it probably in the 70s. And she, you know, used it and kept them well, my mum. I'd always get a tissue and a number seven pink lipstick in here. It looks like teeth marks, and like God knows how she got teeth marks on this bag, but it really is probably dense, but what dent something brass, and I just, I, I'd love to know the history of those three dents, I have no idea. So I need to give that some love, and it's kind of there to remind me. That's a lovely memory. Yeah, it's a lovely memory. Please can we talk about metallic bags, because I can see a lovely yes. one there. This bag is a bag I gave a few Trini London girls for Christmas. It's like very difficult to know what to give sort of 80 people for Christmas, and I always like to give a present from me. So I give a Zara bag, because I think Zara bags are fantastic. And it is that little shoulder bag moment. It's quite heavy, and I think it's beautiful. It certainly doesn't at the price it was, and I'm not going to tell you the price it was, because it was a present to everyone. And then other people had like, brightly coloured bags or round bags or just different shapes for their characters and personality and body shape. I had a bright pink one. You had a bright pink yeah. satiny one? Yes. Oh, that's so pretty, that one. Lila had that too, actually, um, in green for her Christmas. And then the other metallic that I love is this one. And this one I hesitated for buying because I just felt these bags, which are Issey Miyake Baobao. I do sometimes find shoppers 
tricky because you know finding stuff at the bottom is always an issue so I usually use this when I've got my laptop to give it structure and then I'll always put inside a Trini London bag to put all my little things in and then when I'm traveling I'll do the new Atlantic bag these are neutrals they go with everything they bring me joy they pack a punch in what they fill and then I also use all my cables and everything so which is why I use the Chepstow <laughs> I love a bag and I'll keep designing bags for Trini London and I do get inspiration a little bit from my bag collection. Actually this is a bag I've used so much which is this one. Do you remember how often I've used this? I love that bag. I love this bag. This is Zara but this bag it's like when you literally do not know what bag to wear because your outfit is already loud, busy, multicoloured, patterned, whatever and you don't want to layer another pattern on top of it to diffuse it. Do things fall out of it? You can't have anything smaller than a 10p coin. Okay, well, you'll lose a stack's it. fine then. Yeah, a stack is perfect, and then you know where it is. Um, can we talk more about transparent bags, please? Because transparent bags, you wear them a lot. Yeah, that way, let's follow me. I love a transparent bag. I mean, we can talk semi-transparent. This is a Zara one, I'm looking at it thinking it's filthy, and also it's melted. Um, but I do have two. It came with a little baby as well that baby and even though it's sort of sticky sometimes when you put things in it's just great and I see where everything is I, I kind of I'm a sucker for um what's it called when something is all these colors the holographic. holographic thank you very much Jemima <laughs> and then you notice this Jemima but I haven't worn it yet because when I bought it from Zara they forgot to take the tag off oh, no. I'm not a th uh, 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 I'm not a thief that's so cool it's kind of cool and this I think it looks vintage. -y. No, it's like last winter. Uh, yeah, sorry. Can we please talk about bags that do fit your laptop in? Yes. Anyone remember? <laughs> Anyone remember where I got this bag? Anyway, that fits my laptop because I have a small air, uh, and that that sort of works really well for summer. I'll tell you a bag I adore, but it's terrible with a laptop. This is a Louis Vuitton bowling bag, and I got it because I didn't own a navy bag, and I wear so much navy, and I don't like wearing a black bag with navy. So. This was just the perfect colour, but whenever I put my laptop in, it sort of doesn't fit totally from there to there, and I have to do it slanted, and then I can't get things. So it's a bit of a difficult bag, but I did wear a lot travelling, because I like that sort of holding on to it. But I've moved on from that, so I don't know what, will I, what I'll do about this bag. That's a really cool bag. Yeah, it is a very cool bag. I know, and I really haven't worn it, and I should. I can't believe you didn't have a navy bag. No, I didn't have a navy bag. What's your favourite navy bag? This is my only navy bag, so I'm going to call this my favourite navy bag. <laughs> Oh no, more wait, rice. hold on, I have more. This bag I adored, and when I was traveling, I used to have bags I used, and this did actually fit my laptop perfectly. But what I adored is it had this lace that has been covered with something else. So it's just so clever, the design. I don't know if it's actual lace. It is actual lace, but then there's this veneer on top. I bought it when Lila was probably about three or four. So it must be about 15 or oh. 14 years old. That's such a clever little thing to do. Yeah, and I've got that on most of these bags. So cute. Yeah, this bag is probably what I call my investment piece. And this bag, I've shown you before, but this is probably the most expensive bag in my cupboard. And this is a Chanel bag. And I used to travel in America when I was filming a show called Made in America. I remember going from Alabama to the Bahamas and I had five days holiday in that bag. And I got this from Resurrection, which is a second-hand store in New York. That's a gorgeous bag, though. But it's not something that I feel now feels slightly ostentatious. And this is early 2000s, but I just feel... I don't know if I'd want to wear something with that big an emblem on it anymore. But I might change my mind. I think you'll keep it forever, though, and things come yeah. back around, don't they? They do. I do feel it should, should be looked after and have some winter attention. I think it should be waxed and polished and then put in a nice bag for winter. Okay, new project for you, Trudy. It's a new project, yeah. This is like my sort of fun bags. This bag I've worn with my orange jumpsuit from Zara. I've worn whenever I wear orange or orange or orange. It's a great shape. They've copied it from a Prada bag. Lovely. Twenty nine ninety nine. I think. I love that you wear that bag with other bags as well. Oh, I know. I wear this with other bags and I sometimes wear it with this bag. So if I'm doing that look, do you remember I've done yes. that look of cobalt blue and orange? So you'll see that in a second. So the bag's here and this one's over my... Um, and this one is there. That was actually her sixteenth birthday. Oh, that's why I got that. Cute. One. What else would you like to see, Jemima? I'd like to see your favourite newest designer that you've discovered. Who doesn't know that I've developed an obsession with these bags by Lutz Morris? So, if I look at this little collection, which 
I have been known to repeat purchase bags I love. I went through a phase of loving the mini Chanel wallet because I use it traveling. And this one is real. And this one is real. And this one is from Turkey. And it's not real. And it's actually my favorite. I didn't I know you it. had that. Yeah, that's fake. Wow. I know. So Lutz Morris is here. And I think what I love about these bags is that I don't carry a wallet. So I put my sort of credit cards in there and chewing gum. And then I put my phone, my mask, my glasses, my car keys, and some money at the bottom. And it's just got this little thing here. They're just so well thought through, so this will snap together. And then you just, I just wear them like this. You know, they're very streamlined. And for my body shape, this is a really beautiful shape because I'm quite that shape. And sometimes having a bag to emulate the shape you are is a really good idea. That's so clever. And then this is my most impractical yet favorite bag because this is sequins. Or a bun. So it, it's either my stack or a phone. I mean, that's a really difficult choice for me. So I usually put my phone in a coat and I wear my stack in here with some trivial things. This is like adding some jewelry to your outfit. That's what this does. It adds more than a bag because it's not really good as a bag. Yeah. And we always hear you coming in the office with that bag. Jingle, 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 jingle. And then other ones that I've, that I've loved, this bag, you know when you fall in love with a bag and you really think it will be a third of the price it is? That was this bag. I thought, oh, it's fabric, it's not leather. I was surprised when you bought that bag, but you've made it work with so I many know. outfits. It just, it just, it's got all the, like the amount of times Molly would go, that Prada bag for any. <laughs> I've started doing that now I too. Know. But I gotta look here now and I gotta start culling. Like, I'll tell you what I think I'm gonna cull. This. Not, so not this. Well, actually, I might even, I mean, I love this, but I just, I'm not this person. Oh, you can't. But I'm not that person. I'm not that delicate little bad person. <gasps> Maybe and not. this is given to me as a gift. This, I also wish was crossbody. If it was crossbody, this is Zara. How fab is crossbody? Little thing. You see, I'm just too big, tall, gangly. You see, it just looks a bit, uh. I think you need to buy some crossbody straps and add them. Yeah. It, no, where would I add it? No, because that's too... I mean, this is okay, cull it. Okay. Cullen, thank you. Come on. Shall we finish on the bag that Lila would love to steal the most? I have to ask her. Lila! Lila, so out of all my bags, which would you steal the most? Oh, I didn't know you meant that one. Yeah. Thank you. Funny. You know when I got that one? No. I got that one when you were born. Oh. Literally when you were born. No. No. <laughs> No, but I got that when you were born, honey. That's nice. I think Dada brought it to me in the hospital. Oh. Oh, was that your push present? I think it was my push present. Which might have a push present. To me. So, what do we think for this week? We had so many requests for colours. Yeah. You want to do another colour clash? I think we should do a colour clash. What would be lovely, ladies, if you think, what have you got in your wardrobe that you don't know how to wear? Name me some colours of things you don't know how to wear and I will take that as my inspiration to do clashing colours with them and maybe say, I've got these two colours, can I wear them together? So list all of the colours down below and we'll take it on that. Should we do that? so good. Okay, we'll yeah. do that. Yes, great. Till next week. Bye. Bye.